Hey friends, welcome to a new hot news clip, also known as a hot take. And uh, you might remember one that we did a few days ago about how Huawei has 5G modems that they're willing to license out to Apple because you see, Huawei doesn't want to work with anybody besides Apple. It's their one true love. It's where they can make all of the money because they're already producing 5G modems for themselves. So why can't they just share the love? And apparently, the rumors at the time, which were that uh, Intel is failing Apple, and that's why Huawei was offering, is uh, they're completely true. Because as of yesterday, Intel announced that, uh, hey, you know those 5G smartphone modems that we were going to be making? And you know how they were supposed to be on the new iPhones for 5G stuff? Yeah, about that. It's kind of like our 10 nanometer stuff. We can't do it. So uh, we're really excited for the future and you know, we're really trying to try to be good at 5G, just not for smartphones ever, because we can't do it. So that's the official press release coming directly out of Intel's mouth. Uh, they, it, it's obviously like a, a PR spin with the press release saying, we're very excited about the opportunity in 5G and the cloudification of the network, but in the smartphone modem business, it has become apparent that there is no clear path to profitability and positive returns. And I doubt it's just the financial stuff because there have been plenty of reports that Intel has been struggling with producing the 5G modems in the first place, not just the fact that like, it's not profitable for them. So it's it's akin to the 10 nanometer struggles that they've been having. It's the same reason that Coffee Lake is based on the same architecture as Skylake, which came out in 2015, even though we were supposed to transition to 10 nanometers in, I believe at the end of 2016, early 2017. So it's been several years since Intel has actually come out with anything, but instead of giving up on that, they kind of had to, like their shareholders are just never gonna allow them to fail as far as like their actual uh, in, in, in improvements that they can make in the C CPU market because that's where they make the majority of their income. So Intel not working with Apple for 5G modems and a lot of this, I mean, just it, they're going to continue to work on 5G infrastructure. Apparently they're going to continue to try to look at how they're going to put it into Ultrabooks and actually develop the infrastructure for it. But as far as providing things to Apple to be on the world's most uh, revenue driving smartphone in the world, it's not going to happen. So Intel's losing a lot of business from this. And then that means that uh, Apple either has to accept Huawei's offer or make good with Qualcomm. So Intel failing at 5G modems, Intel failing at 10 nanometer CPUs, Intel failing at CEO. I mean, they just got a new one, but I mean, it took them several months and the last one got ousted for uh, reasons. So yeah, things not looking on the up and up for Intel. Uh, it's hard to like hold out hope that Project Z is gonna be great, especially with all of the other stuff, but it seems like they're hiring out for that. They're kind of creating a secondary department that's kind of autonomous and not really tied to all of these other failures that are going on. But what I wanna hear from you. Does Intel's inability to uh, develop 5G modems affect your confidence in the company? Are you a shareholder of Intel and you're kind of upset with them now? I don't know. Why ever you watch this video for whatever reason, just let me know down in the comments what you're thinking. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed to this hot news channel to stay up to date on timed exclusives like this one because this is coming out like three, two and a half to three hours before the actual hot news video on the same thing. So get subscribed and I'll check you out in the next video. No, I'm going to see you in the next video. I'm not checking you out. It's weird. I'm watching a camera right now, not you.